Welcome back to Metals, Money, and Markets. We're October 5th from MiningClips.com. I'm Rob Goodman, and Mickey Fulp, the mercenary geologist, will run us through the numbers. Okay, Mickey, a little political theater down here in the States uh, and some record low unemployment. Let's get to it here. We're uh, the dollar actually up, and believe it or not, gold actually had a pretty good rally into that up dollar. Gold finally bucked a rising U.S. dollar uh, over most of the week. Uh, finished at 12.03, up 12 bucks on the week. That's 1%. The rest of the precious metals did not respond. Silver was at 14.63, up two cents. Platinum actually had a pretty good week. It was up seven bucks to 8.21. Palladium, which has been on a roll, was flat over the week. And copper gave back a penny. Copper is still in the doldrums. In fact, you could say it maybe is increasing as it is in eight month backwardation. I can't remember when we've seen this. Uh, it's been quite some time. It closed at 280. As you said, it was off a penny. And this is despite very strong macro parameters, data, et cetera. Low inventories down 50% worldwide in six months. Uh, positive demand. Chinese premiums are up 75% since July. Uh, this is being countered by trade fears, and that's the side the speculators are on. But mark my words, Rob, this copper price is set up for a big rebound at some point. I can't tell you when that's going to be, but look at it. It was at 329 in mid-June, so it's given back almost 50 cents since that point in time. On strong fundamentals, it's bound to rise soon. And head over to these energy markets here where uh, oil continues to be the story, just keep surging. It continues to roll, although it gave back some uh, from midweek on. It finished the week at 74.29, up almost, uh, well, well over a percent, I should say. U.S. production remains flat, 11.1 million barrels per day. Uh, it was hit the last couple of days with increased stocks, warehouse stocks, inventories. I guess we shouldn't say warehouse, tanker stocks, uh, up 8 million barrels. Uh, and, the, and refinery production is going off. This is the maintenance season for oil refineries in the United States. So uh, there's a couple of negative influences on this rising oil price. Uh, meanwhile, the European Union continues to try to skirt Iran sanctions, but their uh, refineries, big refineries, big oil refineries are saying no. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, meanwhile, Uranium's in the flat right now at 2755 up a nickel, but it's been four weeks in this 2750 range after rising for about, uh, what, three months before that. Yeah, and head over to these currency markets here, as mentioned, a uh, strong dollar here and the, the euro, the big loser. Yeah, really, the strong dollar was uh, because of euro weakness and also interest rates up worldwide. Uh, very bad for bond prices. Uh, Ten-year yield in the U.S. soared to 3.23 percent. That's a seven-year high. So the market's trying to digest this uh, uh, apparently new paradigm of uh, higher interest rates. And that was very boisterous for the U.S. dollar. Close at 95.6, up a half a percent. Euro lost almost a percent down to 115. Looney was basically flat at 77 and change. And we're wrapping up the equities markets here at relatively flat Dow, but uh, the other ones gave back a little here, a lot of political turmoil maybe. I don't know. You tell me. Well, I, here's the deal. It was uh, up. The Dow was up Wednesday to a record high, and then it had a brutal Thursday, and it was also down on Friday. So if you look at it, Close at 26,447, basically flat, but realize it was at a record high on Wednesday. Uh, increased volatility, especially midweek and on, with the VIX up to a little, little bit less than 15. That increased volatility uh, uh, calmed down a bit on, on uh, Friday uh, with a very mixed jobs report. U.S. unemployment down to 3.7%. Uh, but the number of jobs added came in well below expectations at 134,000 jobs. So all in all, a mixed week in U.S. markets, uh, except for Tesla. It continued down. It was down 7% on 
Friday as uh, uh, Musk must have gotten stoned again. He went off on Twitter on the SEC, which just fined him 20 million bucks. Wrapping up north of the border here. Uh, new uh, new NAFTA deal in place here, but uh, Venture uh, off a little here. Not bad. Well, Venture could care less about a NAFTA deal. Uh, I didn't look at the Toronto market, but certainly it was up at the end of the week when that uh, last week when that deal was announced. But for the venture exchange, this is a venture capital market and has little to do with macroeconomics in Canada, more about uh, how investors are feeling about the price of gold and increasingly on marijuana stocks and cryptos. Uh, no rebound four weeks after Labor Day. So this uh, venture capital market continues in the doldrums. And not only that, but the volume was off this week, closed down three points to 706. Okay, Mickey, appreciate the insight. As always, enjoy your weekend. We'll look forward to chatting with you next week. All right. Thanks a lot, Rob. 